Hi, welcome back to our scoping webinar series. Uh, if you recall in the last webinar, we kind of spent some time in the chiller plant asking ourselves, you know, given the conditions that we observed when we walked in the building in terms of the outdoor climate, and given what we know about the loads, uh, that being that you know, a lot of them are either 100% outdoor air equipped loads or integrated economizer equipped loads with leaving air temperatures in the low to mid 50s or higher and that the loads that aren't that type of system are guest room fan coil units on the perimeter that probably wouldn't need a lot if any cooling certainly probably not you know 150 200 tons of cooling on a day when it was 50 outside and cloudy given all that we're wondering where the load from the that's on the plant is coming from so we decided we'd just go look at an air handling unit to see if there was uh, any clues there and so that that's basically our uh, our our plan in this module and I'm planning on doing the same thing that we did in the central plant um, in other words I want to uh, bring up you know the air handling unit mechanical room and pose a few questions for you and then spend some time poking around looking at what's going on in this air handling unit. You know, when you feel like you've identified some stuff or, you know, you aren't sure and are, you know, wanting to move forward, I'll sort of walk you through, <clears throat> you know, my observations in a situation like this. So, <clears throat> uh, before we uh, turn you loose, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the questions, okay? So, <clears throat> You should, I think, be able to figure these questions out just by observing what's going on in that mechanical room and some of the things in the mechanical room. So the first question is, what type of system is it? Is it variable volume? Is it constant volume? Is it reheat? Is it a single zone system? In other words, what you know, what process is this air handling unit using to meet the loads in the ballroom? Um, if you'll notice, there's some dampers on the wall of the equipment room. Uh, what's their function? Okay, what's the current operating state <clears throat> uh, of the system, and does it match what you would expect the current operating state to be, given what you know is going on? Uh, and you can assume the ballrooms are in use. Uh, I forgot to mention that, but they are actually in use. Um, so the unit should definitely be running. But when I say it's current operating state, you know the condition of the, you know, is it using chilled water? Is it using preheat? You know that kind of stuff. Um, and basically, uh, last question is. And given what you've seen, have you found anything that's helping you understand the load on the central plant? And you know, related to that is, you know, do you think the load on the central plant is a valid load based on what you're seeing this unit doing, or do you think there's some things that could be improved? So, why don't you go ahead and uh, spend a little time poking around and see what you find, and, and when you're ready, I'll be here waiting to walk you through the equipment room and share my observations.